Okay guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is the part one of our user registration. Uh, we just finished our user login. Now we're going to make the registration. Uh, I'm just going to close these. And actually I needed our index page to be open. Because on our index page, I'm going to create a link to our uh, register page. So just create a simple link. Whoops, you guys can't even see that. Creating a simple link to a register page, which we have not created uh, yet. There we go. Ah, making all kinds of mistakes. So if we refresh our index page, we have a link register. Let's register object not found, obviously, because we haven't created it yet. So uh, we're going to create our... Uh, PHP tags and register.php. So we have our PHP tags, whoops, which uh, we're not going to quite use yet, but we will, uh, obviously. And if we refresh this, we get nothing because we have nothing on our page other than our tags, of course. Alright, so first thing we need to do is we need to create a form. And our form, our action, is going to be uh, register.php. Because it's going to be a self-submitting form. And our method needs to be equal to, you can't see that. And our method has to be a post, because we don't want our people looking at the URL bar and seeing passwords and such being passed through. And we'll just end the form there. So... We still really have nothing to be displayed, but we've started it. Uh, and I'm just going to create a table to make this a little bit neater. Uh, just put a width of, say, 500. And end the table. It's a bit of a HTML tutorial, I guess. So make these. Probably should have made this before I started recording, but all is well. So we're going to have uh, two columns, and we're going to have multiple uh, rows. And our columns, we're going to put a simple align in them. And our first column is going to be aligned to the right. And then our second column is going to be aligned to the left. It gives a nice, uh, neat effect, uh, I think at least. Now, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to copy it and paste it a couple of times. More than a couple. And... What we're going to do is we're going to start making our fields. Now, our first one is going to be username. And then we have to create a input type equals. You guys can't see that. Type, type equals text. Name equals username. So if we refresh, we're starting to get this. Uh, see how this gives it a nice... Uh, a little neat effect with our table and it aligns it over a little bit that's because this is set to 500 I'll set it to 300 we refresh it and moves it over a little bit so now essentially what we need to do is we need to create uh, this and we need to take this for each one except this one is going to be password and this is going to be password now uh, oh, I forgot this now, when you, when you log in or create an account for, say, YouTube, uh, you have a retype password to make sure the user didn't type it in incorrectly. And type password. And our name, we're just going to make it a uh, re-password. Maybe even retype password. So we have our password, our username, password, and our retype password. We refresh, we have these. So if you type in your password, password, and our username. So what we need to do is, uh, in our database, we have our fields, and I actually need to log back in, because I've been logged out for a little bit. 
So we have our fields. Our ID is auto increment, as I've shown you in the uh, login uh, tutorial. Now, if you haven't watched my login tutorial, uh, I, I'm going to say that as a prerequisite. In other words, go watch that before you watch the user registration. Uh, and now these two fields I'm not really going to need. So I'm just going to go into structure and I'm just going to drop both of these. Our date of birth. But I definitely recommend having these in with uh, an actual uh, website. And so we have our username, our password, and now we're going to get email. So we're just going to create another box. And we're just going to say email. And we're going to change the, t the name to email. So now we're just going to get rid of this. Actually, we need that. And in the right, we're in the uh, aligned right, we're not going to put anything. But in our aligned left, we're going to make a submit button. Because what's the point in logging it? Or what's the point of uh, uh, making a register form if you can't actually do anything with it? So our name, we're just going to say button button and our, we're going to set our value to just register every time I type in an E it's always capital alright so we're going to go back in and we're going to refresh so we have our username password retype password and email now what you can also do is what, well, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that um, our button has been pushed before we run our script and if it's not run uh, we're gonna echo all this out so I'm gonna take my form and the table and I'm gonna highlight it all and I'm gonna hit control X or command X on your keyboard you can get rid of the HTML tags so then we're gonna say uh, we're gonna get our button equal to dollar sign underscore post because that was our method and we're gonna set this to button and run out of time here um, for this part and now didn't want to do that yet so we're gonna check for the existence of the button so we're gonna say if button so if the button has been pushed we're gonna run this block of code but if it hasn't been pushed we're gonna run this so you can see it uh, which this all we're gonna do is we're going to we're gonna echo out all that so if we refresh, because obviously our button has been pushed, we refresh, we get the same thing. So it has the same effect, it's just once the user has been logged in, since this is a self-submitting form, it won't display the register form after the user has been logged in. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. Uh, so in the next video, we're going to get to some actual coding of uh, doing some checks and whatnot.